As we always use the dative after certain verbs and after a number of prepositions, we can take these as an easy starting point for learning the dative forms. But rather than just learning two lists, we should memorize sentences in which these verbs and prepositions occur. And not just any sentences, but sentences that you actually use in your everyday life. Your memory is very much needs based. It will remember language that's important to you much better than words without a real life context. So if you want to practice the verb schenken, think of whose birthday is around the corner and what you want to give the person, and then form a practice sentence. By turning German into something close and personal, it becomes more relevant and will stick in your mind. Remember that principle for the following learning games and adapt them to your liking and to your needs. Practicing the dative. The challenge, as always, is to get the theory off the page and into real life. So invent ways of practicing the dative yourself. Be creative in a group, or at least adapt the following games to your own tastes and requirements. Here are a few ideas to start you off. Wem gebe ich was? First, write a stack of cards with the following verbs that can have both a direct and indirect object. Put the translation on the back. Schenken, to give as a present. Leihen, to lend. Geben, to give. Kaufen, to buy. Bringen, to bring. Zeigen, to show. Beschreiben. To describe. Make another stack with people like Tochter, Freund, Professor, and a third one with different object nouns like Auto, Fernseher, Fahrrad. Shuffle the stacks, take the top card of each, and form a sentence using the respective verb, person, and thing. If you pick Lion, Vater, Auto, for example, you form the sentence Ich leihe meinem Vater das Auto. If you pick Schenken, Freund, Buch, you form the sentence Ich schenke meinem Freund ein Buch. To add to the challenge, you could make a fourth stack with possessive pronouns. Mein, Dein, sein, ihr, unser, euer, ihr, ihr. To go with the person. And as a variation, you can have some or all stacks turned over so that only the English words show. Topsy-turvy. This game looks nearly the same as the one before, but we're using the German dative verbs that put things the other way around, like Leid tun, to feel sorry for. It'll be a bit more challenging. Again, write the following verb list on cards with the translation on the back. Leid tun, to feel sorry for. Gefallen, to appeal to or to like. Fehlen, to miss. Gehören, to belong to, to own. Now make a second stack with people and a third stack with object nouns and a fourth stack with personal pronouns. Ich, du, er, sie. You first take a card from the verb stack. Depending on the verb you picked, you now take a card either from the object or the person stack and then a card from the pronoun stack. So if you picked gefallen, you have to take an object card, for example, die Uhr, and a pronoun card, for example, wir. And you get the sentence, die Uhr gefällt uns. If you pick the verb Leid tun, you would pick a person like Freund and a pronoun like Wir, forming the sentence Der Freund tut uns leid. Feel free to vary the sentence using different possessive pronouns. You could say Mein Freund tut uns leid. Or use the plural Meine Freunde tun uns leid. To practice moving between English and German, turn the cards over to the English side. You now have to translate from the English way of saying it, I miss my dad, to the German way of putting things. Mein Vater fehlt mir. Think like a German, but beware you might get sudden cravings for sauerkraut or Dampfnudeln for a change. Check out this website, 
There are great recipes and even some video cooking demos. You can find some delicious ways to reward yourself for hard work. Das kann ich euch empfehlen. Snakes and ladders. You'll need to print out this game to make full use of it. In the following, you see a list of sentences forming a ladder. Cut out the middle of the page where the prepositions are and glue the paper strip onto some cardboard. Do the same with the other two halves of the page. The sentences now all have the preposition in the middle missing, which you will have to supply when you get onto the respective field. Start at the bottom of the sentence list, throw the dice, and move up to the number you threw. If you get the preposition right, you can stay on the field. If not, you have to go back by the number of fields indicated in the final column, labeled Zurück. Check your answer by holding the preposition strip in the sentence gap. Of course, it's more fun to play with someone else, but as a learning game, you can play on your own too.